We've seen weight decay when we look at L2 regularization with a loss function. So for standard SGG, at, for standard SGD, L2 regularization is the same thing as weight decay. So L2 regularization in the loss function is the same as weight decay in the optimizer. And weight decay just looks like basically we say theta equals theta minus some parameter so times theta. So we're going to, each time we are updating theta, reduce theta by a little bit, and then also subtract off our learning rate times our gradient. And so this parameter here, uh, let's just make it delta. Okay. So delta is some number between 0 and 1, and it controls how much weight decay uh, we are doing. In any other optimizer algorithms, these two are not the same. But we can add weight decay in any optimizer. So this is for SGG. And then for any optimizer, we can basically do something like this. We can say, well, first off, let's just take theta equals theta minus our percentage of theta we want to get rid of, and then update theta as usual. Okay, so that's really weight decay. So weight decay is like a mix-in, an add-on you could add on to anything if you want. So for instance, atom plus weight decay equals atom w. So there's a name for it. Okay? Some don't have to have names, but you can have names for them. You could certainly do RMS prop plus weight decay. You could do eta grad plus weight decay. These don't actually have names. Um, this one just happens to have a name. So these are all possibilities of adding in.